the economic week ahead brought to you by business day my name is eniola olatinji and with me is my colleague wasil ali this week we have very interesting data coming from nigeria and starting on thursday the central bank of nigeria will be auctioning 216 billion naira worth of treasury bills now this will be across three tenures which is the 90 182 and um one 365 days and the 365 days takes a larger chunk of it now at the last auction something interesting happened we saw yields move as high as 28.2 percent that's a lot that's very high that's for a high. one for a one year treasury bill that's like in one year you get 28.2 percent mm -hmm. and that is even and because the yields are given up front so you get it immediately you deposit your money mm -hmm. that's, and that's, um that's we, we know the driver of this because um the, interest, the rate interest rate hike this year interest rate has been hiked by 800 basis, basis points point. that the, is the last time the, the mpc met i think that was a week ago too yes two weeks ago yeah, they raised they, they mm. raised the benchmark interest rate by 50 basis points so now we now have 26.25 or 26.75 percent and wow that's that's a record high yes and that means that the one year treasury bill is higher than the interest rate mm. but it's still lesser than the inflation rate at 34.19 percent so i um, to look to know the results of the auction this week you can check our website later on thursday to know what the results were all right so um beyond the central bank of nigeria and uh, you know the mpc thing now there has been uh, an ongoing protest. protest in africa's largest economy are we the largest <laughs> <laughs> africa's biggest oil producer yes yes right so this protest has um, you know started last thursday and um even despite the fact that the president addressed the nation yes, yesterday today, some still... persons are still um some campaigners are still are still out on the streets demanding exactly. good governance and um, cpp cpp said center for uh, this this organization said uh, for every day of this protest, the country is likely to lose 400 billion naira. 400 billion naira. That's a lot of money in your life. You Thank God. Um, last week when the protest started on Thursday and Friday, we, the stock market and every other financial market still operated. And we will see the same happening this week. Mm -hmm. But losing 400 billion naira is no joke. And I hope like the 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 anguish of the masses are heard and like this comes to an end pretty soon mm, we, we can just hope that things <laughs> get better we hope it does get better yeah so um also the national bureau of statistics will be releasing the electricity report for for the second quarter of the year mm. and the first quarter of the year that's uh, between january to march 2024 the electricity distribution company's uh, revenue fell from 294 billion naira in the last quarter of 2023 mm. to 291 billion naira in the first quarter of 2023. That's quarter on quarter. That's quarter on quarter, but it rose year on year by mm. about 17 percent. Well, that's that's a bit impre that's impressive because impressive. it's compared to the first quarter we saw a lower yeah lower, increase yes. compared to this. And what are some of the drivers of this increase? Yeah, the the metered customers uh, increase the, the metered. Um, uh, Customer yes increase I think uh, fifty nine million about uh, there about meters um, um, customers mm -hmm. from this discourse you know we have uh, the um, um, IK the C the Eco distribution company so all of these distribution companies put together they had an increase in metered customers and of course if there's if there's an increase in metered customer that would translate into and more revenue. revenue. That's, that's why. But, that's but, wonderful. but one thing that is worrying is that um, despite this um, uh, increase and all of that, power power seems to be still poor in some areas. But yes. For me, uh, in my area, <laughs> we still rotate. Are you on band A? You're not on band A now. Okay, maybe, maybe <laughs> that. We are not on band A. <laughs> You're not on band A. You know, so so um, let's, 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 let's um, look forward to the report, report on Friday. On Friday. So before we go to the Naira, today, or since Friday, global stock market has been witnessing a dip. There has yeah, been I think I read about it. There's yes, been there have been serious sell-offs. 
So last, it started with Japan. Last week, Japan increased its interest rates. And then, you know, once there's an increase in interest rates, stock markets don't do well. So there's been a sell off in Japan interest and in Japan stock markets. It's all share, it's, um, it's index, this, the, stock mar- the stock market index, okay. the Japan stock market index has fallen by 12%. Okay. From Friday, and this is, was largely driven by um, um, cheap stocks. And now we are seeing it all over the, all over the world because even in America, America's stock market has also been seeing sell-offs. Mm. And this is because so there's now, you know, we've been expecting rates, been expecting rates cuts throughout this year, at least mm. two, three rates cuts this year. But we've not seen Weapon any yes till out September. Out. And a particular data came out that's the non farm payroll data. It's it's um, measures uh, manufacturing activity in the country and it came out as the low the highest that's been in eight months this has driven people to think that oh the fed should have cut rates a long time ago and people are now taking like they're selling off their stocks in the stock market like everywhere is red right now but so of, to speak of course, i think um, the fed would likely cut it would likely cut rates, rates uh, in september like, in, in, i feel they, at this point they have no choice than yeah, to do so I, I saw i read somewhere i think uh um, was it reuters that um the Fed is likely to cut rate by 25 basis points either in September or December. So Even traders course. are putting in that, that there might be an emergency Fed meeting to mm. actually cut rates. But this really happens only in very, very serious situations. And I think the last time it happened was during COVID. Mm. But for emerging markets, it cuts a, interest a, a, an interest rate cut. Mm. It's good news for us. It's good news, actually. It's, we will see um, foreign investors coming. To they find our market attractive. Yes, they find our market know. attractive and some of our our investment tools would be very lucrative for them. Now back to our Naira. Naira. <laughs> Naira. 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 You know. On Thursday. <laughs> on Thursday, Naira appreciated and it was one five seventy. Yeah, one thousand five seventy. I was I was surprised when I saw uh, that Naira, you know, uh, on Wednesday, Naira was about one thousand six hundred and eight Naira. Mm-hmm. Um, then it, yes, then it came to one five seventy. One thousand five seventy. I was like, oh, okay, maybe Naira uh, has begun to you know strengthen against the dollar. Yes. And within some um, within twenty four hours again, it went back to, to one thousand six hundred and seventeen Naira per dollar. This fluctuation in the Naira has made Naira the the uh, our local currency. To slip from the best performing currency sometimes in April. In April, to the worst was, performing currency, it was a fast landslide. Fast landslide. <laughs> to the worst performing currency. But there have been some sort of assurances from the Central Bank. That, yes, um, yeah, we've been really seeing foreign of inflows, and even this week, if our as um, this week during the auction, auction we should yeah. see foreign investors interested in our. Now that everything um, the stock market is doing poorly globally, we should see foreign investors coming. So, I I believe that the naira would see some, some strengthening. You know, well, let's let's just hope that the mm-hmm. naira sees some rebound very quickly because we cannot wait. Mm-hmm. Uh, whole um, uh, the economy is in dire need of the naira to see some sort of rebound. Rebound, yeah. and so that will be it from um, from us. The economy quick ahead. All right, for more insights and analysis on our stories, you can visit our website www.businessday.ng and follow us on all our social media, media platforms at businessday.ng. My name still remains Wasi Ali. And I am Eniola Olatiji. See you next week. For more in depth analysis, please read up on our website at www.businessday.ng.